All right. We are here to present the awards for excellence in English this year. Miss Prosser, take it away. Good morning, Fairport Skippers. This year, I taught sixth and seventh grade ELA, so I have two sets of awards. Each of them encompasses great writers, great readers, students that went above and beyond, had excellent behavior, and had just an overall great attitude, and were such great role models for the middle school. So without further ado, our sixth grade ELA award winners are Jesse Irvine, Alex Moore, and Jana Vale. Congrats to you. And I'm going to go right into seventh grade ELA. So same type of situation, excellent role models, responsible, above and beyond readers and writers. And those three winners are Matilda Day, Colin LeFay, and Jordan Savchuk. So congrats to you. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. I'm all ready. Okay, next to present uh, her seventh grade awards would be Miss Tenen. Hold on. The English Seven Excellence Awards go to Zena Burkapile, Nevea Reyes, and Jesse Arkeo. All three students work tirelessly to complete their work on time and at the highest level. They have excellent communication skills, both verbal and written, and they never cease to amaze me with their willingness to adapt to any situation. Well done. All right, and next to present the eighth grade awards, we have Mrs. Knight. Good morning, everyone, and good afternoon whenever you're tuning into this uh, awards presentation. I have some English eight awards that I'd like to present. And the first is going to go to James Gadomsky. And I'm giving him the most outstanding in uh, ELA eight award. Um, during the time of remote learning and throughout the year, um, James always worked very hard uh, and, and turned his work in on time. And he earned above 100% multiple times uh, through multiple uh, quarters. So way to go, James. My second award is for uh, Josh Parsons, and this is for outstanding um, participation and uh, throughout the year and also through remote learning. Josh was always present during online meetings and willing to participate. Uh, he would even come to some of the meetings so early, he'd be the first one there and he would tell me, hey, Mrs. Knight, I beat you to the meeting. So thank you for your participation, Josh, throughout remote learning. My third English aid award is gonna go to Cheyenne Stefinski. Cheyenne is earning this award for uh, just being most overall improved and dedicated uh, through remote learning. Um, she showed a lot of creativity and, and dedication um, during the fourth quarter, um, even planning a virtual field trip for our eighth graders to attend um, while she's out of the state. So thank you very much, Cheyenne, for that. Um, my fourth and fifth awards are both going um, to two students that showed um, a lot of commitment during remote learning and you know really excelled in communicating with me and letting me know if things were going on or they needed help. Uh, these awards go to Tristan Doing and Shane Tyrak. Um, again, both of them really went above and beyond um, communicating and, and attending meetings, probably had 100% uh, attendance rate throughout remote learning, which was really encouraging for the teachers to see them. Uh, next, I'm going to move on to my English One Awards. Uh, these are the eighth grade students that were accelerated through the curriculum this year and uh, ended up uh, earning a high school English credit. Uh, the first award is going to go to the most outstanding student I felt in English One this year, and that is Madison McFadden. Uh, Madison never missed an assignment all year. She was willing uh, to help with extra projects, went above and beyond. Um, she was the Skipper Sketches editor throughout the entire year. Um, she's just a natural problem solver and a student leader. And uh, congratulations, Madison. You really have a, a bright future. 
Uh, my next uh, award is for Julia Smith. And Julia is winning this award, uh, this award this year as the most outstanding speaker. Um, we didn't have a public speaking class in seventh or in eighth grade. I know they did in uh, sixth and seventh grade, but Julia um, is just not afraid to take risks. Uh, she's a natural leader among her peers. Uh, she worked very hard on her assignments. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to recognize her was, you know, she went to the uh, Martin Luther King Assembly at Lake Erie College this year and, you know, spoke in pro probably in front of about, you know, two to 300 people, um, which was, took a lot of courage and, and a lot of bravery. So I wanted to recognize Julia for doing that. My next award for an outstanding um, writer is for Charlie Holbrooks. Um, Charlie qualified for the Regional Power of the Pen Tournament um, she displayed excellent writing skills um, throughout the whole year on, on various uh, creative and informational writing assignments and essays. Um, I just wanted to commend her for her uh, dedication um, in, in all that she does. So well done, Charlie. Uh, my next award is for Aslan Nelson, and I am calling this the uh, Most Outstanding Artist Award Through Literature. And this was a specific award for Aslan, um, just because of you know her artistic skill. I always tease her. I say, Aslan, um, one day you know you, you could work for for Disney or for Pixar or whatever you want to do. But her her creative side and her artistic side are just really nice to see. Um, and and she really committed a lot to her her work this year. Uh, she won a poetry contest um, through the American Chemical Society. She's a Fair Poet finalist and, and has really displayed excellent artwork this year. So thank you, Aslan, for, for your hard work. Uh, my last award is uh, for, for English one is to Olivia Manchuk. Uh, this is a remote learning award and really just a general uh, award for, for her being a, a dedicated student. Um, she always attended email, uh, attended meetings, emailed me with questions, participated. Um, Olivia, thank you also for laughing at my jokes uh, during the meetings. I know it sounds silly, but sometimes when we're just staring at a computer screen all day and I, I could tell that, you know, we were connecting through this remote learning time. So thank you for uh, persevering and uh, your dedication through uh, a very difficult time. So we are very proud of you, Olivia. And those are my English 8 and English 1 one awards. Thank you. Moving on to the high school awards, the student showing educational excellence for English 2 is Olivia Eldridge. And the student showing educational excellence for English 3 is Chloe Stead. Lastly, this brings us to the English Department Award. Uh, this is an award for any high school English student um, that the department as a whole uh, believes has demonstrated excellence uh, in English. And I'm pleased to announce that our recipient this year is Kaylin Classing. Uh, Kaylin is graduating a year early, uh, so we want to wish her all the best and congratulate her for her hard work. She has excellent writing skills and incorporates careful thought and reflection in her work always striving to improve her writing craft and create meaningful pieces that are not afraid to wrestle with important issues and themes of her generation. Congratulations, Kaylin, on receiving the 2020 English Department Award and to all of our award recipients this year. We're so proud of you guys. Welcome to the 2019-2020 Fairport Harding Social Studies Award. To give our first awards is Mrs. Messenger. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. The first award is our PBL champion, and that's going to go to Tyler Flershinger. The next award will be the Remote Learning Award, and that's going to go to Ms. Shiley Gibney. 
Uh, next, we have the Great Debater Award. This is the student who is always debating everything in class, and that's Xavier Moore. And last but not least is our Dedication Award, and that is going to go to Miss Jessie Irvine. Next up is Mr. Ruff. I have two different groups. Uh, the first is middle school social studies. And I'll start with the remote learning award. This student has uh, shown a strong dedication during this remote learning time period in the eighth grade social studies. And that winner is Caleb Lansbury. The next one is the most dedicated student who has displayed a strong dedication to producing quality work all year long. And that is James Gadomsky. The Future Historian Award is a student who shows a strong interest in asking questions and forming thesis statements related to any historical theme that we've discussed and is a active class participant. That is Josh Parsons. And the Best Student Award goes to someone who shows really features that all the previous awards have shown. Well-rounded student, strong desire to learn, and that is Tristan Doing. Through the World History Group, this is, these are eighth graders who are taking a ninth grade world history course. The remote learning award is for a student who's shown dedication uh, during this remote learning, and that's Maya Talley. Most dedicated is a student who has shown to produce quality work all year long, and that is Andrea McKinney. The future historian award is the student who's strong, strong interest in asking questions all year long, and that is Sophia Ciccinetti. The Best Writer Award is a student who has written the most clear and concise papers all year long. In fact, she's written 10 of them, and that is Madison Myers. And the Best Student, again, is a student who demonstrates all these factors combined and a strong desire to learn, and that is Aslan Nelson. Up next is Mr. Rail. I'd like to thank all my students for all their uh, Hard work this year, obviously different circumstances uh, or more regular uh, work in our classroom uh, to go into the remote uh, learning. I would like to start off with the World History Award. That goes to Kara McFadden. The Current Events Award goes to Kaylee Fisher. American History. We have Rachel Shaw and Josh Safik. World Geography is going to go to Morgan Bramer. And Human Behavior class also goes to Morgan Bramer. And we are going to go to Mr. Holoshik now. Thank you. I have one uh, individual award, and that is the Perseverance Award, and that's going to go to Senior Maria Steringer. And our overall Social Studies Award, this is an award that is given to one student in the high school that was voted on by the whole Social Studies Department. And the winner of that award this year is Gino Cororetti. Congratulations to all of our award winners, especially this year. We know what a difficult time it has been. Uh, congratulations, and hopefully we can see everybody again next year in in our school, in the actual school, and not uh, on, not online, not on the computers. Welcome to this year's EEIF Math Award Online version. There's always challenges when it comes to the math, and this year was no different. But the students being highlighted today have went above and beyond to be recognized. To start us off, we have Ms. Macko. The Academic Excellence Award goes to the following students. Not only did these students complete their work on time, but they went above and beyond in everything they did. They showed a high desire to learn while tackling every obstacle they, that came their way. For sixth grade, I have Lauren McKinney and Adam Rock, seventh grade, Euridia Garcia and Zach Thruss, and for eighth grade is Charlie Holbrooks, Aslan Nelson, and Hunter Cummins. And now is Mrs. Callie for high school math. Hi there. Um, 
For these students that have earned my excellence of award, they, they display dedication, perseverance, and consistency throughout the entire course. I'm so, so very proud of all of you and appreciate all of the hard work and determination you have exhibited throughout this entire course. Uh, for my Algebra One Excellence, this award goes to Michaela Sandstrom. For my Geometry Excellence Award, uh, this goes to Elena Sherwood and Owen Meacham. And lastly, my Algebra Two Excellence Award goes to Morgan Bramer. Congratulations. Next, we are going to hear from Mr. Khan. I want to first start off by thanking all my students for the work they put in this year. But I have a few students I'd like to recognize. First, Giovanni Corretti for Algebra II Excellence in Math Award. Also, Ms. Nora Rock, Algebra II Excellence in Math Award. And Andrea Garcia Hernandez for Algebra II Excellence in Math Award. In Advanced Math, I have Ms. Kaylin Classing for Excellent Effort Award. In pre-calculus, I have two award winners, Evan Kowalczyk for Excellence in Math and Ms. Kara McFadden for a Math Master Award. I now send it over to Mr. Messer. Hello. I would like to um, present an award for career math. And for my award, um, I look at a few different factors. A lot of students work pretty hard this year in career math, uh, but two students really stand out. Uh, their students have always struggled with math and had a hard time with math, and they also have become a language barrier. Uh, these two students um, never once had to be prompted, always for help, always did their assignments on time, always when available would seek out help from either Mr. Khan or Ms. Salini or somebody else. And I present my award to Isara Reynoso and Jennifer Saria. Back to Mr. Khan. And finally, this year's most outstanding math achievement award, our senior rock star goes to Ms. Caitlin Lemmer for her efforts. Congratulations, Caitlin. And congratulations to everyone who won an award. And have a safe and happy summer. Here are the Hooked on Education Awards for the 2019-2020 school year. We as teachers in the Design Lab believe in teaching students not only for their four years at Fairport, but educating students in order for them to strive beyond the walls of Harding. We believe the students that we are recognizing today show the characteristics that have made them successful for the 2019-20 school year, but also for their lives beyond high school. Those characteristics, of course, include the four compass points of honesty, dedication, citizenship, and responsibility. They also include self-advocacy, respect for self and others, adaptability, and probably most importantly, creativity. Our award earners this year are Maria Steringer. Kaylin Classing, Austin Richner, Yay. Giovanni Corretti, yeah. Rachel Shaw, yeah. Owen Meacham, Lewin Euler, Lex Patrick, Evan Kowalczyk, and Marika Haller. All of these students have demonstrated excellence in their academics and beyond, embodying the value of learning and agency in their work. Congratulations to all of our award earners and good luck to all of the Hooked on Education seniors.
Hi, everybody. We're here to present the special awards for significant achievement in Spanish, physical education, music, and also art. For Spanish, we have several awards, and all are called El Estudiante del Año, the Student of the Year. In Spanish 1, two students earned this special award. We have Rune Milliman and Kendall Myers. Rune and Kendall participated all the time. You guys were wonderful, wonderful participants in class. You tried really hard every single day to learn vocabulary and verb conjugations, and both of you were exemplary Spanish 1 students. In Spanish 2, La Clase de Español 2, El Estudiante del Año es Elena Sherwood. Elena is one of the hardest working students in our school, and I'm sure that any teacher could attest to that. Elena has been a great Spanish student. She gets her work more than on time every day, asks great questions, and certainly gives her best effort every single day in class. On top of that, she is one of the top earners of participation points. La Clase de Español 3. The winner of this is Gino, or as we like to call him, Ginissimo Cora Reddy. Gino is an awesome Spanish 3 student. He's, he's willing to try his Spanish and experiments, a lot of different things. Even if he's incorrect, it allows him to grow because he works through his mistakes. Gino was a great Spanish 3 student, and he ended up taking Spanish 4 this year, which leads us to our final award. Our final award for Español. En la clase de Español 4, el estudiante del año es Josh Polchito Sefik. Josh is a, was a great Spanish 3 student and an even better Spanish 4 student. He could help anybody out in the Spanish 3 class that he was combined with, and he is a fantastic writer, speaker, reader of Español. So congratulations to all of the winners for Los Estudiantes del Año and La Clase de Español. It was a great year, and I really hope to see all of you again in August in some way in person. And so we're crossing our fingers that that can happen. So felicidades a los ganadores, congratulations to the winners. And next we will have the Fizz Ed Awards with Senor Romeo. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. I do miss all of you and I hope to see you as soon as possible. Uh, today I am presenting three awards in health and physical education, one for middle school and two for the high school. My middle school uh, student of the year is Nathan Wright. He was outstanding. His effort, his attitude, his dedication was excellent. And I appreciated having him every day. Uh, my high school health slash PE student of the year is none other than Mr. Andrew Turner. He was outstanding in my class. I enjoyed having him. His participation was excellent, especially in the health classes, and he was excellent all year long. And finally, um, I have my strength and conditioning student of the year, and that would be Mr. Luke Perino. And if I had to give an award for most improved, he would also be that too, because he was excellent in my strength class. I appreciated his hard work and his effort and his attitude that he brought every day. So thank you. Congratulations to you three. And now I would like to present Mr. Rusin for our music awards. Take it away. Hello, awesome music students. Um, I'm just gonna be handing out the awards to my sixth grade um, general music classes. Um, my intermediate band and my high school band classes are going to be do, uh, done during a, a separate presentation. Um, so I'm gonna be handing out awards for outstanding effort and participation. These are students that, um, you know, no matter what kind of stuff we're learning about in music, whether we're learning about some composers or a history of it or instruments or whatever else it is, um, they're always um, listening and they're asking questions. They're trying to, to learn about it and making sure they do all their work. And I have three students from my A block and three from my B block classes or C block classes, sorry. Um, and these students all did an awesome job this year. So from A block, I have Lauren McKinney Sophia McLaughlin and Jana Vale. So awesome job, you three. And for my C-Block class, I have Jesse Irvine, Adam Rock, 
and Ariel Willis. Awesome job, everybody. And now we have Mrs. Toomey with the Art Awards. Hi, everybody. I hope you are doing well. I miss all of you. Um, I have Fine Art Awards for high school first. Um, this is Outstanding Dedication and Talent. So the first one is in my art appreciation class, Sarah Camargo. And same class, Janelle Erb. And also art appreciation, Kaylee Fisher. In my general art class, 9 through 12, I have Ty Malone and Morgan Bramer. These, these were five outstanding students all year long. They not only accepted every visual art challenge, but they demonstrated a growing thirst for creating their own challenges. So I am very intensely proud of all of you. So for middle school, um, again, outstanding dedication and talent, talent all year long. I have two seventh grade kids and two sixth grade kids. Um, first one is Navea Reyes. And secondly, Trinity Humphrey. Sixth graders are Cohen Franz and Lauren McKinney. These young artists have shown a great deal of dedication and self-motivation. They are always eager to improve their skills with truly amazing results. I expect great things from all of you and I can't wait to see you again. Awesome. Hello, Skippers, and welcome to the science portion of our end of the year student awards. Ms. Prosser here, and I'm going to just start with sixth and seventh graders who really did the design process thinking in the science classroom. They were actively engaged in discussions, and whenever they had a chance to, they really were inquiry driven with their education. So without further ado, sixth grade winners of this year's 2000. 20 science awards are Tyler Flirchinger, Lauren McKinney, and Adam Rock. And for seventh graders, the three award winners are Zach Thress, Avion Gill, and Xavier Moore. Congratulations, guys, on such an awesome, awesome time in class. Next up is Ms. McCauley with her awards. Ms. McCauley. Hello everyone. Uh, we had two eighth graders this year that really represented everything we need to see in the science classroom when it comes to motivation and getting all of their work done in a timely fashion and showing a great deal of enthusiasm for our content. And the 2020 winners for Outstanding Achievement in Science as eighth graders this year are Hunter Cummins and Cheyenne Stefinski. Uh, now we'll be moving on to high school with Mr. Yowsey. Hello, everybody. Um, it's a bit of a bittersweet award ceremony for me because it is my last at Fairport. I will be moving on. Um, I want to thank everybody for seven years of weird questions. It was a delight to be answering all of your strange, strange, sometimes even science-related questions. This year's awards, like I've often done, go to students who were consistently excited and curious and wanted to learn more constantly. And so this year's award winners for me for the Curiosity Award uh, is Elena Sherwood, Kara McFadden, and Joshua Safik. Uh, and then um, to finish things off is Mr. Messer. Thank you very much. Um, we also want to uh, present our Outstanding Senior in Science Award. Uh, this student um, not only fulfilled her requirements in science, but she took multiple uh, science courses at different colleges through CCP. Uh, I believe she had two biology courses, a uh, marine science type course, uh, three chemistry courses, and a physics course at both Lakeland Community College and at uh, Akron University. So I want to congratulate Katie Limmer 
Uh, very proud of your hard work and your persistence all the way through. Congratulations. Thank you. I have two awards this year for science. So um, these two students have worked very hard this year. Um, one student uh, for my general science award uh, has overcome a lot, um, language barrier, worked extremely hard this year, did a tremendous amount of work on her own, uh, finished up her chemistry course early, and I was very proud of the work she put in. So I want to thank you, Asara Reynoso, uh, for uh, your effort and everything you put in this year. My last award is a perseverance award. It's for a student that could have given up, that many students would have given up. Uh, she was taking uh, science at college. Uh, this particular chemistry course she was taking was extremely difficult. She came in quite often for help, was very frustrated, uh, found the course very difficult, and she persevered through. And I was extremely proud of her. And congratulations, Nora Rock. And congratulations to all the students uh, who, who received science awards today. Thank you.